What's going on everybody, it's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO DC Super Villains video. So in today's video I'm of course going to be showing you guys how to make John Wick using the in-game customizer. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so to start off with we're of course going to head into appearance, head, head and then head again and you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find custom head 7 in of course this skin tone right here. Then once you've done that you're going to back out of there, go into face decal colour which is the colour of the eyebrows and beard and you want to make sure that this is black. For the wrinkle decal colour just go with this one right here and we don't need any accessories so of course you can back out of there, go into hair and you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find the long hairstyle and for the colour we're of course going to go with black. Now then onto the body. So for the body we're going to go for preset body and you want to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find Two Face's body but it's not just any version of Two Face it needs to be the one from the Batman the animated series character and level pack and for the colour we're of course going to go with black. Now then for the arms you're going to go to both arms and you just want to make sure that you choose the blank option in black. For the hands you just want to make sure that you are matching the skin tone like this. For the hips you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find Captain Boomerangs and you can see here if you look carefully it's not exactly matching the rest of the suit. So what you want to do is you want to still choose black even though it's already black and you can see here it just blends together much nicely. And finally for the legs you're going to go to both legs and choose blank in black. Nice. Now then, on to the effects. So John Wick is a man that can easily handle himself in a fight, that much is certain. However, obviously he's not a superhero, so he doesn't have any powers or abilities. So of course we're not going to add a left hand glow or a right hand glow, but we are going to add hit impact effects, because you're going to turn that on, make sure that you go with style 1, and then for the colour we're going to go with black. And you're also going to do the same for the jump slam effects as well. So yet again, turn it on, make sure that you go with style 1, and then for the colour we're going to go with black, because as you can now see here, it leaves off less of an effect as possible. So it may Makes him a lot more realistic to look at when you're playing as him in the game. Now then, before we move on into the abilities, we of course need to give John a weapon. And this is of course a character that uses a variety of different weapons and other things that aren't usually used for weapons in his three movies. But personally, I just decided to give him a gun. So we're going to go to gun type, pistol, turn that on. Make sure that you go with the right hand as the gun position. And then for the color, we're just going to go ahead and make it black. Nice. Now then, onto the abilities. So this part of the tutorial is very simple because we don't need to add any abilities to the tag button, the jump button, the action button, or even hold circle. But on tap circle, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom to explosives. You want to turn that on and make sure that the explosive color is black. Now, yes, I'm fully aware of the fact that John is actually throwing explosive pies. However, I just wanted to give him another way of taking out his enemies rather than just using the pistol. So you could just say, for example, that this is an explosive like a grenade or something. Anyway, now of course what we're going to do is head on into the skills. So for John's skills, I just went ahead and gave him technology as well as if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we're going to add tracking. So you're going to turn that on and you could either go with blue, which I do think looks really cool, or personally what I decided to add was purple, just as a nice little reference to Parabellum because they do seem to be using a lot of purple colors on the posters and everything. So I thought that would be a nice little reference to the actual movie. We don't need hazard protection, but we are also going to add illumination and and stealth. Nice. Now then, on to the personality. So for the health icon, I'm just going to go with purple. For the health type, we're going to go with standard health. For the voice, just choose any male voice. For the speed, go with normal. For the target reticle, I would highly recommend that you scroll all the way to the top and go with Mercy Graves. And then for the animation set, usually I would suggest just leaving this because, of course, when you give your character a weapon, it overwrites that animation set. However, the great thing about the martial artist animations is basically, yes, you will still be able to shoot with your gun and target with it. However, if you also, let's say, for example, go up to an object or enemy, you'll actually be able to fight using the martial artist fighting style, which fits this character perfectly. All right, so we have done the appearance, the abilities, the personality, and we've given him a weapon. So now what we need to do is fill in the basic information. So for the status, I thought a lot about this because, you know, at the end of the day, John Wick is neither a hero nor a villain. He's an assassin. So I would say go with neutral because he does have some good about him, but he's also got some bad about him. So I really couldn't decide side so neutral is probably the best option and then for the affiliation we'll just go with unknown and for the name we're of course going to name him john wick 
Nice. All right, cool. So now, of course, what we're going to do is drop John Wick into the hub world and see just what he can do. And here he is. This is, of course, my custom made John Wick made in Lego DC supervillains. Let's just get a good look at him right here. Now, personally, I would probably say that this is hands down the best way to make John Wick in Lego DC supervillains. So, of course, I am really happy with the way that this design turned out because it really does look like the character. And obviously, that is always so great to see in these videos. Anyway, enough chit chat what can he actually do well of course we didn't give him a double jump or flight or anything like that so in terms of getting around all he can do is this little hop but in melee combat he is so much cooler because we have the martial arts animation set which i absolutely love now as well as that we can also perform this jump attack which yes isn't really very realistic but of course every character in this game has it so you have to give that ability to john wick but still i think it looks really cool of course we can't forget the pistol which you can shoot normally like this with or you can target with which I much prefer because I just think that looks really really cool look at that that's awesome and finally we have the explosive pies which are meant to act as explosives or grenades or something like that anyway now of course what we're going to do is head on into Gotham City and fight the police because obviously this is Lego DC supervillains we're not going to be stopping the crimes we're going to be the ones starting them now as a huge fan of the first two films I could not have been more excited about John Wick chapter 3 Parabellum I even went as far to try and avoid all of the trailers as best as I could so that none of the movie surprises would be spoiled for me and that definitely paid off. So as you would probably expect Keanu Reeves who is one of my personal favorite actors of all time is absolutely incredible in this movie. The man is 54 years old and moves like you wouldn't believe as he fights countless enemies with a variety of weapons and constantly switches between different fighting styles during mid fight which you would have to imagine must have took a great deal of long hours of learning and concentration to remember. And the same really does apply to every other character that is featured in a fight scene in this movie because the fight choreography was on a whole other level this time around. I mean it could even be compared to the quality of Daredevil, dare I say even better because like that show there are definitely some scenes in this film where there are these continuous one shots of John just taking out a room Full of people. Now one character that I've always loved in this franchise was Lance Reddick's character pretty much since the very beginning in John Wick 1 and he's always seemed so calm, cool and collected but in this movie we really get to see him in action and it is just so awesome. But hands down aside from John Wick of course my personal favorite character in this movie has to be Sophia. I mean I haven't even seen Halle Berry in much recently but she absolutely knocks it out of the park in this film and this might be my favorite of her roles to date because she's just as fast and capable if not more so than Keanu was in this movie. You can really tell that this was a film that she was really looking forward to doing and that she had a lot of fun making and I just hope that she returns in the fourth film because she is one of the coolest characters in this franchise now and you can't forget her dogs either. I mean the way they use her dogs in this film is just brilliant. So overall this turned out to already be one of my favorite movies of the entire year. As soon as the credits rolled you just wanted to know what was going to happen next and thankfully we now know that John Wick 4 will be released on May 21st in 2021 and I could not be more excited to see the next film. Beyond that I wouldn't be surprised if we got at least two more movies making that six in total. Heck maybe even more. I mean the director recently said that he would happily make more sequels for this franchise for the rest of his career and personally I think as long as they maintain the quality of the last three installments I'm down for what whatever else they have planned for this franchise. Now another reason why Keanu Reeves is one of my favorite actors is because of course he stars in one of my favorite movies of all time, The Matrix. And while the sequels weren't anywhere near as good as the original, I still enjoy them for the most part because they do have some cool and memorable fight scenes. And there are now even rumors that suggest that a fourth Matrix movie might actually be in development, which is extremely exciting news, especially for a massive fan of the franchise like myself. So I would personally love to see Keanu Reeves return as Neo in The Matrix 4. But if he's done with that franchise, then I'd personally also love to see him as the Silver Surfer in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. A character that I'm sure we're probably not far off from seeing along with the Fantastic Four and maybe even Galactus in Phase 4 thanks to the completion of the Disney Fox deal. I just think that Keanu would seriously be perfect in that role. But of course, we will just have to wait and see. Alright guys, that's pretty much 
it for this video. Now, obviously, that was a very simple tutorial to follow because he really is an extremely easy character to be able to recreate in this game. However, despite that, I still think he turned out looking really movie accurate, which is so great to see because, I mean, come on, who doesn't want to play as this character in a video game, especially in LEGO DC Supervillains? I mean, I just thought it would be really fitting considering the fact that the whole premise behind John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum is the fact that everyone wants a piece of John Wick. You know, he's on the run. So I thought it would be really fitting what with the army of police going after him in this game. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.